That's Stevie Everybody. Wonder. We are here uh, at the 103.5 K2 Studios. I am joined by the one and only Taylor Dane and oh. Cash Cash. Yes, yes. We, yeah. did we did it, we did it, we did it. So like, what's the vibe here? I know you guys are together celebrating the 35th anniversary of Tell It To My Heart with a reimagining of the song, but like, are you guys like besties? Are you like, is it like a mentor relationship? Like, how do you see these guys? I think Taylor? these guys were kind enough to, you know, know what to do with a classic record and give it a whole new reboot. And, and this is what we're doing today. We're, we're talking about, and that's what we're performing. And this that song, that's what it means to me. I'm just celebrating 35 years and it sounds fresh and, you know. We're old souls classic. at heart, you know, and yeah. we just, we knew how to pay homage to the original, yeah. and, but bring it into the, uh, Year 2023, you know, here I, we are. The yeah, one man. thing I, I love that you guys did was that you you really kind of pay tribute to the original yeah. without messing with it too yep. much. But like it's, with the post synth. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I, yeah. Yeah, I saw it's, that on Good you Morning know, America. You know, you know, you know, we, we call that the KTU synth. Is it? We call it, no, we, we just, just internally, it, just in, internally. In, in, like the song, that's what we called it, because it, it sounds like it just sounds like, <laughs> it just sounds so like I, ATU, that synth. I thought, now we're getting really nerdy here, was that that vocal was just Taylor's vocals that you had put through some sort of like computer thing mm -hmm. and warped them and brought them down a couple of octaves. Oh. Yeah. But I didn't realize it's you actually do that It's a combination of like, it's, it's, like, it's like four it's different layers. It's a combination layers. of like layers and layers. You were, and right. you were right though. You were right. That, yeah. that I gotta come see this, it sounds so cool. That's part of it. Wow. Well, well, congratulations on Good Morning America. You all look great. Thank I love the little interview that they did with you guys. And that was the first time you actually performed it live together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really, we rehearsed Besides yesterday. last night. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so the rehearsal was yeah. last we night. We had rehearsal. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're, we're musicians. Yeah, we're professionals here. Professionals. Yeah. Yeah. We're not just DJs. We actually yeah. play instruments. <laughs> yeah, true. yeah, and that's the interesting thing is I don't think a lot of people know that. Yeah. You know, we, we see a lot of uh, DJ acts now, especially, you know, with the KTU brand and a lot of events. Like you guys play guitar and, and, oh, yeah. and the keyboard and the drums. Like That's how we got started. I mean, we, we were a band for so many years and um, we grew up playing instruments at a very young age. So it just, that's like, it's second nature to us. It's like, it's like, it's like riding a bike. You never forget it, you know? Yeah. So, do, like, do you love incorporating that into your production? All the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, it's, definitely, yeah. it's a main part of our songwriting and production process for sure. Is getting on the guitar, getting on the piano, and just uh, yeah, starting from a real place. That's so cool. It's an addiction too. We also yeah. have way too many yeah. guitars and basses that we <laughs> yeah. don't well, that, need. That's the thing with music, yeah. and also, and, and Nick will tell you who's doing the camera work here. Anytime you do music or you do uh, photography or videography, it gets expensive. Yeah. Oh Start yeah. Collecting. <laughs> what about Start cars? Collecting. Yeah. For me, it's just taking up way too <laughs> yeah. much space in my apartment right now. It's just oh. like nuts. I got a lot of keyboards. Yeah. In the there's, studio. Yeah, there's only so many guitars I can have like on the walls. Like, <laughs> wow. You bad. know what I realized here? We're all like local kids. I mean, yeah. sort of. Yeah. Taylor nice. from that Long we, Island. That we figured out when we were together. Yeah, Long Island, New, new Jersey, New York. So you yeah. lived in New Jersey too? No, I did not. <laughs> okay, so that's it, how you I am a Long it. Island, New York City girl. And Born in the city. Cash Cash from New Jersey. And the thing is, Jersey Jersey boys. people who may be watching this from out of state, I don't think you realize that there, it's not like it's a rivalry, but it kind of is. It, but just like we yeah, be will, honest. We <laughs> stay with the Long Jersey? Island Railroad. Yeah. 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 All right. And you guys stay with your New Jersey Transit. Yeah. And it's yeah. so yeah. rare that we cross. Yeah. yeah, we just meet in the city. We just hour. end up marrying each other. That's all. That's so, why. Is yeah. that what happened here? <laughs> How did marriage. Yeah, How? yeah they, they've already been married and divorced. I've done nothing. <laughs> I've just sat here 35 years and just said, hello. But I popped out some kids. Did you have, who has the child here? I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see? One child. Well, how I did... still am a child. I can't. I, I... <laughs> yeah, same. But how did this collaboration come to? Like, how did you guys get together? Like, how did did you guys seek Taylor out to to reimagine the song? It was actually our kind record of, label. Yeah, it was vice versa. Actually, I had a really good conversation with the the president of their label, David Waxman, and he's just you know, that's me going old school, having a conversation with a head of a of a label that I knew would get you know, what I want to do here and celebrating this 35 year. And he was saying, you know, his roster's, you know, he's got Calvin, he's got this and he goes, but cash, cash, I think these guys, they're musically, they're just, they're just really going to um, understand how to take a classic record, iconic record and actually, you know, just really reimagine it. And this was- It fit really, our sound. It was just, it was a, yeah. it was a match made in heaven. Um, Cause I mean, we're, we're, we're known for that. Like we're, we're also known for like, you know, like doing like remixes or reimagining things in like, a way where we take the original and kind of like put it on steroids and then put our own twist on it. Um, and I think that's kind of like what we did on this one. 
but no, we absolutely. I mean, and my, my the the point is with David. I just said I want to celebrate the thirty five year, and I want to do something fresh and hot. And, and we he have said, to do it right. Yeah. Do it right. Yeah. And fresh. And 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 honestly, you get one more chance. You know, you get another yeah stab at this. It's not like I'm remaking Tell It To My Heart every other <laughs> year. You know. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. It's, it's hot. a hit song, and it's like yeah. you know, it's like cool. It's like it's like taking you know a model and just putting on a different outfit on her for the. It's like it's like. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like she yeah. could wear one thing in the '80s, and now it's like wearing something in the '90s, and it's like, oh, but still she's still beautiful. It's still she's smoking. 2023, you know? Barbie. She's still smoking. And it's just, yeah. oh, you know? I, I love it. I mean, yeah. it, it's so interesting the process. Like, what was your reaction to the first draft? I guess. Um. Yeah. Well. Um. Nothing short of just like, oh shit. <laughs> like, okay. They're like, can you send us vocals? This? Can we do this? Can we? And we're like, yeah. So. My guy that we just were working with this morning, we just cut more vocals, sent him over, and I go, I'm yeah. going to give you some ad libs, and they're going to mm -hmm. tighten this up, send me a section here. I mean, it's so virtual now, but I mean, that's how we were rolling. He'd be just texting yeah. me through, like, DMing Instagram. me some crazy <laughs> set. I'd be like, dude, you're pu you're making me pumped. Like, you're getting me excited for this. That's you know? so we were pumped. Neat. We were yeah. genuinely, we were genuinely yeah. pumped. You know, a couple months ago, I had uh, David get in the studio, mm. and I asked him his secret formula as to, like, how to make these big hits, right? And he he told me he said it's what's what's old is new again, and you you do oh, a yeah. refreshing spin yeah. on mm -hmm. something that that really brings that nostalgia. Like, what does that mean to you as far as this record and as far as maybe other songs you want to rebrand or re mm -hmm. reimagine? Well, we we, we like working with artists that we loved growing up too, you know. So we've been lucky to work with so many of them. Like, um, you know, it's it's the throwback. It's just it, there's something about it. Like you feel like. Um, you know the song. You feel like they, there's an attachment to it. Like you know, we've we've done songs with like Dashboard Confessional, uh, Johnny from the Goo Goo Dolls, Nelly, and like these are artists that we grew up listening to. Mm -hmm. Pink, we did a song with Pink. Um, I, I was telling Tara, I remember listening to "Felt in My Heart" like back in like the like '80s, like in the '90s when like I was like a little kid, like probably like dancing with my mom in the basement, you know, yeah. like yeah. with my mom's <laughs> hair all teased out, probably just as high as Taylor's. You know, <laughs> yeah, like no. well, well, we have to talk she about that it. off camera. I want to <laughs> yeah. know how that was done. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, and that's that's what it is. So it, it it's you know it's um I guess the word is nos I want to say it's nostalgic. You know, like we get a good feeling doing stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Music is just a feeling. Yeah. That's incredible. I mean, with all this time that has passed, it like, what would you say to a younger version of yourself? Oof. Oh my god. Like what what's like the number one life lesson that you would Depends how young. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're talking about the girl that broke this record and, you know, we had no idea what we had on our hands. It's just, we just, I was, it was a single, but we also knew I, you know, I put my $6,000 towards it and Rick and myself, and we had already been doing 12 inches. I mean, I was a product of the club. You're looking at that 12 inch of the original mm. cover. Oh, I mean, wow. that's Look me. At that, at, babe. Wow. That's me <laughs> shooting. That's me in St. Mark's, Second Avenue, and that's where all the clubs were. You know, I was at the Cat, Cat Club to, um, Love spit love. If you watch Desperately Seeking Susan, so, yeah, that's 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 was as real and legit as it gets. Do you remember like putting on this outfit and having your makeup done? Well, and, that's a and skirt like... on my head. That's a tool skirt. <laughs> but I was saying, like, do you, did you were you like, oh my god, I've made it. I'm a I'm a star now. I started to I'm understand gonna... the difference between arts and graphics because what you can do with a photo, and I really started to learn. You know, that was my very first photo session with the label, or right. actually them giving a crap and saying, wow, this single actually has you know. They only signed me for a single. <laughs> well, and one. all of a sudden, all they were like, one. they threw me in a room with, you know, two incredibly talented gay guys, and the next thing you know, I had bobbles and lights and this <laughs> stuff around me, and a and a skirt on my head, you know. Listen, it works. Very creative. It works. Yes. And but it, let's let's talk about your voice because uh, you recut the vocals for this. Where absolutely. You could have used you could have used the dry vocals from 35 years ago. Why? I don't know. You could have. <laughs> but the thing is, as you get a little bit older, even like I've been listening to my own air checks from my radio shows from just 10 different. years ago, oh, yeah. I sound like a different person. Right. You sound probably better than you did 35 years ago. So I need to know all your secrets. Is it well, throw it's, coat? It's pretty, or... No. <laughs> I train like an athlete when it comes to that. Any, you, you, this is a muscle. My voice, I, I take it very seriously. People don't really know that I was classically trained. I don't yeah, speak I hear, about it a I lot. can hear it. You, you do, you do uh, yeah. good live compression. Like, you, yeah. you, you have that I mean, I'm classically vocals. trained. I, I studied operatically. I mean, that was the, the, and I knew what I was getting into the minute I started making pop records and obviously working in the clubs because there was no, you know, you were in the club and when you made a record then you were cutting tape. And mm -hmm. um, 
wow. over and over and over again. So preserving your voice was probably, you know, the greatest gift I was ever given by my teachers and people I studied with. Yeah, is that and the, learning how to the advice that you would give sleep? To, Can't to talk. I, so I say I used to tell my band, I'm so jealous. Like you get to put your instrument in a box, yeah. and I got to continue this. And it really, um, you know, not everybody can keep going and going. So That's back in the day when people weren't texting. It's like you got to call people after mm-hmm. the night. You got to wow. call. Your family. You I'd have a call, call, call yeah. a calling yeah. card. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be stay at the ho- at, at the airport and just call 95 radio stations, yeah. and you had oh, to physically God, show I, up. Yeah. yeah. Not that this is a bad situation, but and genetics too. A lot of people's pipes just fail. You know, like not like I mean, you know, are, some I'm artists, thinking of certain actors it. even yeah. that just not that it's bad. I'm not I'm not dissing anyone. Just saying that they sound different than they did only a few yeah. years ago. Your voice and keeps it is getting harder and harder. It's like you know you have to train it and you have to keep those muscles agile. And it's yeah. just watching an aging person. So when you see a beautiful body and somebody that's not you know 75 years old, they're still working at it. A ballerina, mm-hmm. ballet dancer, mm-hmm. stretch it, move it. You know understand that and yeah. when people, you could tell the artists that abuse it and then they it's like I'm, I'm, my one my one manager in the beginning first said it's it's not how long you it's not how well it's not how hard you can do it it's how long you can do it yeah and a lot same. of people they go hard they go hard and then they just burn out after five years their vocal cords are done Oof. and they got nothing left you know well you got to take care of your precious instrument yeah. Right, well, that's a lesson. It's for like you all can of you us. can't just buy a new one like these guys. No, <laughs> no, but you know what? You got to take care of yourself. Period. Right. Yeah. yeah totally. Otherwise, you know, there's only one of you. So that's a yeah. lesson for all of us to understand. This is not a business that's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not light on the heart, and it's not light on you know mentally, physically, emotionally. Like you, you, mm. when you be, you know, my overnight stardom was was uh, a real ride. That moment, you know, I wasn't the girl from you know. Freeport, Long Island anymore. Oh. So you gotta have to be physically ready for that. That's what I would tell my younger self. Hmm. Mentally, physically, and, and get a damn good manager up front. Yeah. <laughs> people you can trust. There you go. Financially, oh, yeah. yeah, the people you can trust and, and understand what that means, you know? There's a lot of things coming at you. This is that kind of business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's so competitive. It's, you know, you, you're losing sleep, and I mean, look at you doing it for 30 years. That's incredible. Five. 35. 35 years more than that because i made the record before it came out (laughs) so i have have a question you know we're we're loving the nostalgia k2 is you know it's a huge part of our playlist here if you were to pick one song and i'll go around the room Mm. one song that you would um another one that you would do give it the the tell it to my heart treatment and it can't be a taylor dane song it has to be something else what would an iconic song be that you would love to get your hands on probably like honestly like Be my lover, like I don't know, one of those like those like nineties like uh, my lover yeah, or like something like that. Like, yeah, Lavouche. Like, I love like, oh, like, oh, wow. McCoy or something. I don't know, like uh, oh the real McCoy again, oh. Arista Records. Something ridiculous. I did a like, uh, Live and Joy Dreamer as oh, my throwback track yeah, today. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Well, like whatever. You're still thinking. I see the wheels yeah. turning. And uh, they are because you know. <laughs> There's a lot of great ones, but like yeah, I don't know, even like. uh like just dance by Bowie, get the like his Ooh. having his raw vocals and like the guitar parts would be. Sick. Yeah, that's a great. Yeah, yeah, that is. But that's that's yeah, that's Nile Rogers right yeah, there. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, wow. any of those actually, Rogers, I was the in the studio with David, David Guetta, like, Nile, move, move this. and I watched David's yeah. process, and I was with Avicii doing yeah. that. It was interesting oh, to watch. Wow, they just played and played and played until they found something, and Avicii just kind of programmed yeah. it and. It was very interesting. Yeah, I'd love to see you guys work. Like just yeah. seeing these creatives just yeah. take the wheel. It's, it must cool. be something else. Yeah, it is something. Well, it has been so amazing to have you here in the studio. I have to ask, what's next? Are you going to be doing more performances together? Um, we had you at KT Euphoria this past summer. Mm-hmm. Are there going to be like radio shows? Like what's what's up next for you guys? I hope so. Wind blows us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it would be a lot so. of fun. We, I, so. I would love to do an acoustic. You know. Performance would be fun. Really, I could you know sort of strip down with a, with some uh, acoustic guitars, maybe like a, a talk box, a keyboard. Like, there's some fun stuff we could do. Um, yeah. You know, like in radio, in like a radio studio. Absolutely, yeah. Super, we do have like, our Dunkin' Latte Lounge. Yeah, just say. like not like polish, just like great. You know, just sing the song and just have fun with it. Um, you hook up his talk box like a little little <laughs> little <laughs> mic, a little, like, a little amp, a little, ma- a little amp, a small little like a distorted amp. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, I want to see this thing. Next time you guys are here, can you please bring it? Yeah, we, we okay. have a few different things. We, can do. we got vocoders. We got, we got a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of little tricks. Toys, toys. So, so I love it. Toys, so many toys. Well, basically, we're open. And yeah. to any, honestly, yeah. it's this, this fun has just begun. Yep. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, we love you guys. We're going to be keeping an eye on everything. Yeah. Everybody follow them. Download, stream. Uh, check them out on iHeartRadio. Taylor, Dane, and Cash Cash. Yeah. Thank you so much. We did it. We did it. We did it.